Hey, hey pals, welcome to Frame and Fiber. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Katie, who was the winner of a giveaway that I did with Sue and Rachel of Floss Toss, which is a floss tube cross-stitching channel here on YouTube. So go check them out. I'll have it linked below. They reached a milestone of 3,000 subscribers, and so we did a giveaway, and Katie won. So I framed this piece for her as her prize, and I'm going to show you what we talked about. Katie and I, we recorded our Zoom session, her consultation here with me. So you'll get to see what uh, it looks like to have a picture framing consultation with the professional picture framer. <laughs> and then I, I do a snippet of a video just showing you some behind the scenes really quick. I didn't film a lot of this one. If you'd like to see more of my cross stitching videos, please check them out. I will link above or below as well. So enjoy the video and thanks for being here. Hey everybody. Thanks so much for coming and visiting my channel. I am Paige the Framer, also known as Paige Miller. That's my real name. <laughs> and this is Frame and Fiber. And I am here today with Katie. And Katie won a giveaway over on the Floss Toss. Floss Toss. To how do we say this? Floss Tube channel here on, you on YouTube. <laughs> So, Katie, would you mind letting everyone out there know a little bit about yourself and about the artwork that you just sent me? Well, my name's Katie, and I started off crafting as a crocheter, and then I went into knitting, and I became a hardcore knitter. <laughs> and last year, um, during COVID, and I was home a whole lot, and I had work through all my whips and all of my projects. And I decided I wanted to start something new. So I picked up cross stitching. I ordered a little kit off the internet and it arrived and it was just a tiny little pumpkin like this big. And then I started getting into floss tubes and I found Rachel and Sue and I found um, stitching with the housewives and a few others. and. I ordered another kit and another kit and then another pattern. And then I decided I'm not going to have a stash. I'm just going to work on one pattern at a time. I'm not going to turn this into a knitting, like my knitting stash or my pattern stash. Well, that didn't work out very well. So now I have a knitting stash and a cross stitching stash. So um, I had, I saw your interview um, and your giveaway on um, Rachel and Sue's floss toss. And I just love watching them. And they're just such lovely floss tubers and also knitting podcasters. And when you were on, I thought you were so lovely as well. And I put um, the comment down because I really meant that how wonderful you are and talented and just overall kind. And a couple of weeks later, when they announced my name, I immediately thought, because I'm a fairly new stitcher and the project I sent you is like the biggest project that I've done so far was that I'm not worthy, <laughs> that I'm just such a new <laughs> stitcher. I have so many things to learn. As you could see, I have tape around <laughs> the sides. And, um, the back of the artwork is quite messy and um, but I do love stitching I do love knitting and it's just turned into this wonderful hobby of mine now. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so, first off, you're totally worthy because I was hoping to get a newbie. Like, you know, it's a random drawing. So whoever comes up, great. But I just love the fact that like you're new to this, you know, I, I'm new to cross stitch too. I oh. I, I bought a kit from Rachel in her, um, in her shop, which is Treehouse Fiber Arts. And I bought Love Never Fails. And I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. And I started stitching it. And it's ginormous. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. So I'm excited to do this with you because you're new. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think it's lovely, too. It came out so beautifully, your work. 
Thank you so much. It was such a sweet pattern. I just like, it's a Lori Holt design. And um, I found her because she did the flea market flowers pattern. And I immediately purchased that one right away. And then I started looking into her other um, pieces. And I, I really like this one a whole lot. And it didn't really take me that long to stitch. Nice. So I just broke it up into different parts and worked on it every day or any chance I could and finished right. it. Yeah, I do. I, I kind of think, you know, just you're a knitter as well. And so my little tiny dabbling into cross stitching, it's definitely feels more of an instant gratification than knitting, yeah. because yeah. even if you don't finish the piece, if you just finish that little corner, like this little piece right here, like that feels like a finished object. <laughs> exactly. That's what I worked on, like one little section at a time and would just finish it. And so you, you said you officially now do have a cross stitch stash. I do. I do. Pattern, now, floss, fabric. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, sometimes having a stash is what gives us inspiration to start something new. So I'm all for a stash. <laughs> yes, <laughs> me too. All right. Well, I'm so glad you won this. I was really excited to do that video with Sue and Rachel. Um, I'm assuming that we'll have some floss tossers watching this since you are on this channel with me and they'll be all excited to see a fellow floss tosser <laughs> in person. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So down to business. Is there anything that you were thinking about before I start showing you my ideas? Is there, is there anything that you had in mind when you finished this and knew that you were going to have it framed? No, I don't. I didn't have anything in mind. Um, I'm in a fairly new house. I just purchased this house last year and there's hardly anything on the walls. <laughs> there's a clock <laughs> and a, a seasonal wreath and that's about it. So okay. I want to put this piece. This will be one of the first pieces that I put up nice. in my, in, as a decoration or as a wall hanging. And so I didn't really have any thing in mind as far as framing. So okay. I would just take your lead. <laughs> on your new home. Thank you. Thanks. So I have a few things in mind. Um, are you opposed to anything distressed? No. Okay. I'm, I'm not. So I have a few different options going from that kind of like, you know, graphic design feel over to more of a, like a distressed kind of homey feel. So let's, let me start with that, with, with a couple ideas. So the first thing, uh, we can frame it as is, or we can do matting. I pulled out some matting that I thought matched. So I was pulling out the gray border that you have here. Yeah. If that's too dark, we can always just do a second mat on top to mimic that. Oh, that's nice. Right? Uh, and I was thinking if we did something like this, so I was thinking something like, oh, you can't see it. This is a big piece. <laughs> Let me move this up into this corner so you can see the framing. Let's see. Ooh, that's sweet. Move this up so you can see. Yeah, that's like that. Okay. Can you see the texture? Yes. And I'll also show it here. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. So yeah. it's just a simple barn board feel, mm -hmm. but it, it's a gray wash over that pine, like a natural pine. So it, it's just, it's just pretty with this piece. <laughs> it is very pretty. And that wood I have a, cause my house is kind of rustic and farmhouse type. Okay. And then you have a beam here and a post and that kind of looks similar to this okay. beam post that's right here oh that's cool so and that's really fun too like when this happens um I always pick things off of my wall because I'm mm -hmm. only looking at the artwork and so sometimes the things that I pick out do not fit in people's homes they're like oh no that wouldn't fit but the fact that it kind of ties yeah. in all right that's really cool <laughs> yeah and then I'm gonna stick in that vein and I'm gonna show you another frame uh, this again is a rustic feel. This almost feels like, 
again, that pine color comes through, but it's like, you know, wow, we, we painted it this light gray. And then years later we painted the dark gray and now it's chipping, you know, that kind of, <laughs> yeah. You know? And I think that works well too. It looks really yeah. dark on this camera, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look dark. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, it's really, I feel like the color really cool. is more true on my camera, on this yeah, camera. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Okay, so those two are definite. Um, and then, so if we decided to not do, if we wanted to only do a single mat, I thought, ooh, again, these are rustic, but they pick up that minty green that you have going on in the quilt corners. Yes. Um, and it still has that bit of gray popping through. Mm -hmm. So I like the wider frame. I have this in two sizes and I also have it thin. I uh, like the wider. I do too. I think the wider one yeah. is like, so let's see. Is that wood? It's wood, right? Yeah. And it's painted like that minty, that minty green it's just such a cool frame so it is you know I have a barn door actually in my house it's a closet yeah. and it's like one of those I don't know if they call it a barn door but it's on wheels at the yeah. top and it's similar to that minty green oh <laughs> <So>. my gosh <laughs> I've never been in your house I swear no. <laughs> it's very okay, similar so it's like I got a greenish slightly blue wash I love it that's so cool <laughs> yeah it's a cool piece and I love it really picks up the quilt corner so great yeah um, and then if you wanted to do something a little bit more polished something that because of the style of the cross stitch and the, the all the colors are just solid colors again sticking with that minty green and just doing a really simple mm -hmm. painted let me show you the color up here yeah, that's pretty. And you'll see on this one, opposed to, I'm just going to pull up one of the other ones. So this is a frame that you can see the seam. Mm -hmm. Those are just two pieces that I cut and I put together. Okay. This is painted after it's joined. So you don't see the corner. So it really has a nice, I, I always say graphic arts because it has that, you know, vector feel to me where it's like perfectly like yeah. the lines are so precise I don't know if I'm using the right vocabulary but <laughs> and I think that looks awesome with it too uh and then you so didn't want to do you didn't want to do a mat that looks nice too right so this is this is where it comes into I'm going to show you all of the ones that we the four I had two other ones but they don't fit the bill anymore. <laughs> now that I've talked to you, they don't fit. So all of them would look nice without a mat. The gray frames would definitely need the top mat. Okay. I think just because they would blend. So let me show you what they look like. They would definitely blend in too much. Yeah. So that that's my only opinion as far as matting or not matted now it's all up to you so we can oh let's... there's so many choices what do you like <laughs> so we can let's um we can cycle through them okay uh and you can you know sometimes it's a good it's a good exercise especially when you like all of the things um to look at them quickly and just let your eye and your brain do like an instant like yes or no without thinking about it so we can do that um So we're going to start here. I like that. Um, as opposed to the other one, the one that you okay. just put on, I like that one better. This one better. All right, so I'm going to nix this one. Okay. Then let's take and look at gray and green. See, I like, I kind of like that one. This one. Yeah. For some reason, okay. I like bigger frames. For, I don't know why. Like, 
this just, piece can handle a bigger frame. Yeah. Like, there, yeah. The colors are, are strong enough that I definitely think, you know, um, a bigger frame and the darker matte it can handle too. You know, if they were paler colors, I wouldn't pick a dark color. I wouldn't pick the darkest color if all the other colors were yeah. muted. So I could definitely carry it. Um, okay, so we've narrowed those down. Well, what do you like? Or what oh, do you like? Hard because I love all of them. I do See, too. Okay, let me ask you this. Between the matting, do you like I kind of like that because it complements the the piece. Like it goes from, you know, everything's kind of framed. Right. Totally. <laughs> oh. And it matches the, the cloth perfect. Yeah. Um, okay, so do you prefer the matting versus no matting? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at them when what we're do you like, like an eye test. I just had my eyes checked. It was like A or B. Help <laughs> 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 All right, so we're going to siph siphon through these. I think that's pretty. It's so pretty. I think that's really pretty. I think the first, I think I like, yeah. What do you think? I think it's, you know what? Is it boring? I think the difference is this one's like the more unexpected, wild, you know, fun. Yeah. But this one, I think, is the maybe if you're, it, it might last longer as far as like you loving it. Yeah. You might not get sick of it. So it's really pretty. And I love the repeat of the grays into mm -hmm. the light. It almost looks like a stamp to me, the way the uh, edges mm -hmm. done. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, okay. Also, I like the mint one too because it's not, it is unexpected. And right. Yeah. And they have both, you know, using the, the matting too. I mean, that's what's hard is they're very, very different looks. Yeah. Not the matte that you would, this is right. the matte because it's a better color. Actually, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. So you can see both of them at the same time. Yeah. Maybe I should do it this way. Let's see. Mm, can I fit it? No, I won't be able to fit them all in. I can see it. Man, this is really a big piece. <laughs> I can see it. You can see it? Okay. Yeah. See how different they look? Like, yeah. It's two different. You know, I think I like the green. The green. <laughs> and it's funny, too. Do you know how many people right now are watching us? <laughs> voting for theirs going, pick this one. Pick this one. <laughs> I think I like the green. It's so cute. It is really cute. I think that's it, too. Like. This is classic when you put, to me. Yeah, it is. Right? Like, this is, like, tried and true. You're going to love it. Mm -hmm. And then that's just stinking cute. Yes. When you put them side by side, um, that's when I, I like the green. Yeah. Oh, hey. oh. The, clear, the clear winner. Let's see. It's so cute. It's cute. And you know, it's a cute yeah, there's piece. some good combinations. Isn't it crazy how many combinations? Yes. And I didn't show you nearly <laughs> as many as you could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so speaking of that, I picked the grays in the, the minty green color. Do you want to see any other color? No. Okay. No, I think. I think it's perfect. It's so okay. cute and so pretty. So it's, pretty. It's pretty. All right. So that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> that was pretty fast, lady. Oh, yeah. The green is really cute. All right. Cool. Any questions? No. 
we don't need to go over pricing like I normally do because this is what you won. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so not worthy. No, I'm, so I'm so excited, excited. and I, I'm so happy. Have you, have you ever had anything custom framed? I've never had anything custom framed. <laughs> this is probably my third piece I've ever done. It's the bigger, the other one was a small pumpkin and a small little bat <laughs> in a moon. Oh. And then I just kind of went for something a little bit um, bigger. Um, oh my gosh. You're a newbie a better, all the way. Pardon? I said you're a newbie all the way. All the way. I know I saw so many people work on this piece and finish this piece. So I wanted to jump in and yes. do something that other people were doing. And oh, this is. Well, let me apologize now um, because when I send this to you, you're going to love it so much that you're going to want to cross stitch all of the things. <laughs> you're going to want to have them framed and fill your house because it's going to look so good. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait because I have plenty of space to hang things and nice. this is just going to be so special, such a special piece. I tell this to everyone who's not local to me. Oh, that's, we didn't even mention that. You're not local to me. Where are you located? I'm located in McHenry, which is about an hour outside of Chicago and an hour from Milwaukee. So I'm right on the Wisconsin border. Okay. Yeah. Well, I like to mention this to everyone who's not local. Um, if you do need help finding a picture framer local to you that you want to go into their store, just hit me up. I'll help you uh, find somebody. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It can be a little daunting when there's only like a few of us and then there's big box stores though. So. Right. Oh lady, this is going to look so good. <laughs> I'm so yeah. excited. You did such a good job of picking out different options and hey, working through this with fun. me and patient and. <laughs> it was great to me. I'm so excited that you were okay doing this. This is wonderful. Um, I'm going to do some video of me framing it which everybody will see after this. And so, yeah, I'll Yay. just send this back to you when it's all finished. Okay, <laughs> well, thank you so much. This was such um, generous, such a generous giveaway. Oh, I'm glad you won. It was, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. All right, well, we'll leave this here. I will see the rest of you guys uh, at the end of this video. Um, thanks for being here, Katie. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye day. everyone. Bye-bye. Okay, so right here I'm showing you how I find the center of the board. I do this on all four sides. And then I will show you how I find the center of the cross stitch and how I put them together. Uh, this right here, you're seeing the Sharpie marker. I'm actually putting that little dot there so then I know where to put my pin after my pin is inserted into the cross stitch. Um, in uh, the comment section of the video I did with Sue and Rachel, you guys had left so many great questions and I did an entire video answering those questions. So please go check that out. I hope this video and that video answering your questions helps you guys with finishing your own cross stitches. Happy stitching. Obviously I'm just quickly sharing this with you. Um, if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, uh, separate videos by themselves where I'm showing you my tips and tri tricks <laughs> and some tutorials on how to finish, uh, comment below and let me know if you'd be interested. Okay, Bells, it's done. <laughs> All right, it's technically not done. I'm showing it to you without glass because I didn't want you to see a reflection so I will finish it but here she is do you not love this okay so this gray makes me so beyond happy and can I tell you why here's a little color theory class for you okay so this gray of the mat is like almost exactly that color but our eyes can't really see that because of this gray here. And so it's a mix between the two. I love how science works. <laughs> but so this being a little bit lighter than this pulls your eye into the middle. Absolutely love it. 
I hope Katie loves it. I hope she enjoys this forever. Her first custom framed cross stitch. So thanks Katie for your question. Thanks for, thanks to Sue and Rachel for letting me give something away to their viewers. All right, kids. Thanks.